Good morning, everybody. I got up at the crack of dawn, as in 7 a.m., to washy wash this beautiful bike before the heat got here. So we uh, put about ooh, a good 20 miles on it. So I had to air dry it, all that. So I looked this up. This is a 2007, and they optioned a 103 inch with ABS brakes that year. They're obviously a lot more money. This is the 103 inch version. Runs beautiful. Got quite a bit of accessories on it. The bag rails, top, sides, fence and hind mufflers. Uh, Doodahs like this here. Floorboards, peg, crash bar, chubby a peg, here's the chrome controls, the grips here. So it still has stock wheels, good tires. So it's got an air lowering control thing here. One for pressure, one to raise it. The air covers accessory. Uh, like I said, it's got quite a bit. It's got the braided cables, a clutch, ground control. It's got the rear rack here. It's got the little tow hitch thing there. Little chrome cover here. It's registered to August 25. Sissy bar is an extra. It's got this custom seat on it. It's obviously not the stock seat. Not sure who made that. It doesn't have a tag. I can take it out to go look. So, we had it doing 80, 90 miles an hour on the freeway. Rides like a Cadillac. It's 103 inch. It, it's got a has something to do with the cam profile. It's not, 103 inches, not that much bigger than 96, but oh boy, oh boy, they got a lot more power. Wow. So, <clears throat> the uh, cons on this, it needs a bolt here. So I got this right through there for the floorboard. It's gonna be awfully close to 100 today. I'm not about to go out in that kind of heat. That's why I got up early. It was set up with a battery tender here. That would be a plus. Don't know how the battery is, but it seems to be fine. The gas gauge is not working. And the starter uh, ring gear on the clutch and the Bendix are starting to go out. You can hear it grind once in a while. So that's going to have to be replaced. And we got a good reading on the speedo when I bought it. Uh, 68, 756 or something like that. But the speedo decided to not be readable when I woke up this morning. So they go out when they really decide to go out. But um, anyhow, I have not tried the air rise and lower thingy. I don't want to touch it. That blows up, I gotta fix it. <laughs> I am not touching it. So as with any twin cam that's used, my suggestion is pull the timing cover and inspect it. Pull the primary cover, inspect your chain there. Three hole oil change. Make sure your air pressure is good. Ride the piss out of it. So, one clown says, Oh, don't buy a 2000 or 8, they're junk. I said, Well, let me tell you what, pal. You better not buy a Harley Davidson. I mean, you better not buy a Harley Davidson. Every fucking Evo ever made had a bad cam bearing. Every twin cam ever made, you've got to inspect the timing cover and update or adjust or you know do whatever it needs in your chain because they all had issues every fucking one of them even the later ones you gotta have a look make sure it's good oh what about an m88 well them fucking things but i you know i haven't owned one but from everything i've been seeing on youtube they're grenades unless you replace the entire timing chain area the cam backing plate, the cam, put a gear drive in it, put an oil pump, put a breather in it. Then you got a beautiful motor. It's only five grand to do that. Wow. Only. So, you know, Harley Davidson's from the factory have issues. But this one has 68,000. That's a lot of miles for a junk motorcycle. In other words, it's not. People love talking smack on my channel. It is what it is. It's a great bike. Um, this one here, we're pricing it at 6000 because it's got the 103 motor. Take your 96 to a 103 is $5,000.
the factory 103s had a compression release. Mm -hmm -hmm. Compression release, yes they did. You up your 96 to 103, you don't get that. So we're gonna push it over here into this hot sun and give it a little uh, up and down the block we go. So I know that on these late model bikes, you got a fob bike. If your fob ain't by the bike, or the fob's got a bad battery, it ain't starting. So if you don't want to start, change your battery. This one's got a brand new battery in the fob. Obviously, I did not detail it. I just got back from the washi wash. A good detail, man, this bike could come alive. But for a $6,000 motorcycle, I ain't doing it. You detail it. A lot of work to detail one of these bad boys, but boy, she would come alive. Yes, she would. Spray some of that wet, wet on it and wipe it all down. So, bam, so bam. So, that's that. We will see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, try and stay cool, man.